Chassis lifts, oversized tires, and custom wheels are popular. These changes also impact the handling, gearing, and fuel efficiency of the vehicle. Selecting the right tires and mounting and balancing them properly is important. The magazine's 2005 Dodge Ram truck has been running BF Goodrich KO2 tires in size 325-65R18. The truck boasts a 4-inch chassis lift to accommodate the oversized tires and provide adequate clearance. These tires have shown exceptionally good wear and uniform wear across the tread surface. Proper wheel alignment and correct tire inflation pressures front and rear, unloaded and loaded, have contributed to excellent ride quality and minimal wear. To assure proper wheel alignment, our shop is equipped with Fast Tracks alignment equipment. Turn plates and two Fast Track systems contribute to accuracy of alignment settings, including caster, camber, and tow in. The Ram 3500's beam front axle holds alignment readily. This was a truck at stock right height with 373 gearing and stock 31.6 inch diameter tires. A 4 inch chassis lift accommodates these 35 inch diameter tires. 456 to 1 axle gearing replaces the original 373 to 1. Peak torque and fuel efficiency on the Cummins 5.9 liter engine is between 1600 and 2150 RPM. Optimally, 1900 RPM provides the best peak RPM for fuel efficiency. Note that with the original 373 to 1 axle ratio and 31.6 inch diameter tires, the RPM at 65 miles per hour in overdrive was 1762 RPM. With 410 gears, a factory option, 31.6 inch diameter tires yielded 1955 RPM. 456 gearing with 325-65 R18 tires, 34.6 inch diameter, yields 1986 RPM at 65 miles per hour. 456 gears optimally should have a larger diameter tire and we chose 37 by 1250 by 17 inch tires, BF Goodrich KO2s at 36.5 true inch diameter to produce 1883 RPM at 65 miles per hour. In changing from an 18 inch to a 17 inch wheel, we chose Raceline wheels. The Avenger Series 929M79080-12 rims are 17 by 9 inch. This is an 8 by 165.1 bolt pattern in millimeters a minus 12 millimeter offset, 4.5 inch back spacing, 130.81 millimeter hub bore, 34.3 pounds per wheel in weight, with a 2.5 inch lip, and a load rating of 3,650 pounds per wheel. The OEM tires were rated 3,195 pounds per tire. They were load range E. These tires are load range D, but rated 3,525 pounds for a gain in capacity per tire of 330 pounds. These ratings are at maximum tire inflation pressure recommended by BF Goodrich. With proper tire inflation pressures matched to the tread and load, these tires will readily carry the weight of the truck and any gross vehicle weight load to maximum weight recommended or gross combination weight. We often run unloaded, with a load, or with a trailer in tow. The curb weight of the truck is now 1,200 pounds over stock due to accessorization, oversized tires, the winch, front bumper, rear bumper, cap, 75 gallon auxiliary fuel tank and other accessory add-ons. The 37 1250 by 17 inch KO2 tires provide a 36 and a half inch diameter. Doing the math, the equivalent final drive ratio with this diameter tire and 456 gears would be 3.95 to 1 when compared to the original 373 gears and 31.6 inch diameter tires. 
This ratio falls between the 373 and 410 gear sets that were options on the original tires. The Cummins 5.9 liter engine performs optimally between 1600 and 1900 RPM, which this gear set and tire diameter provide between 55 miles per hour and 65 miles per hour. These are reasonable and legal speed limits for towing. With Hypertech Max Energy Tuning, this engine produces maximum torque at 2150 RPM, which in overdrive is 75 miles an hour. Torque efficiency is fuel efficiency, and this is optimal gearing for this tire diameter. Tire inflation pressures and balancing are critical to tire wear and vehicle handling. With each wheel balance, the wheel and tire assembly are checked for runout to see if the rim and tire are running true. The wheel and tire are brought to speed on the high-speed wheel balancer. The outer tread surface of the tire is observed to check for wheel runout or out of true. There are two common balancing methods for spin balancers. On this Hunter machine, one is static single plane balancing and the other is dynamic dual plane balancing. The machine is recommending dynamic dual plane balancing, but in our experience with these large diameter tires, to avoid excess weight in the balancing process, we elect to use the static single plane balancing method. Our choice of race line wheels assures that the wheels run true and these tires are on center. For these reasons, static single plane balancing is effective and provides excellent ride quality with minimal tire wear. The weight mounting deck on these race line wheels affords the opportunity to use either type of balancing method and were these tires and wheels smaller and lighter we would consider using dual plane dynamic balancing. Your tire shop may have a different approach or perhaps their balancing equipment is different. Consult with your professional tire service shop when choosing the right balancing method for your application of tires, wheels, and the vehicle. The KO2 tires are 37 by 125017. This is a 124R rated tire. Optimal rim width is 8.5 to 11 inches. We're on a 9 inch wide rim. Section width is 12.5 inches on a 10 inch wide rim. Overall diameter is 36.5 inches, 569 revolutions per mile, with a tread depth of 15 30 seconds of an inch and a load carrying capacity of 3,525 pounds per tire at 50 PSI rating. The weight per tire is 69.5 pounds. This creates a combined wheel and tire weight per wheel of 103.8 pounds. This is considerable unsprung weight mass, a choice we make when we select tires of this size. While some find the amount of weight to balance these wheel and tire assemblies to be considerable, this is not a lot of weight for a 103.8 pound moving mass. Weight applied per rim and tire may vary considerably, but the balance is true in each case. In our experience with oversized tires and wide aftermarket wheels, static single plane balancing has proven practical. In many cases, aftermarket custom wheels make it very difficult to dual plane dynamic balance the rim. These precision race line Avenger wheels would be an exception. If necessary, we could dynamic dual plane balance these wheels and tires. Weights could be fitted in dual plane dynamic method on this flat deck of the rim. On this Ram 3500 application, our repeated success with static single plane balancing has encouraged us to continue using this method of balancing. Our local discount tire store at Los Altos Parkway Sparks, Nevada goes the extra distance of making certain that the hub mounting flanges and wheel studs are each clean. This assures a flush mounting 
of these new wheels to the hub flange. The push-on spring retainer tabs are removed to make certain that the wheel flange is flush with the hub. This also assures that the wheels will be bolted solidly to the hub flanges. These wheels come with an attractive chrome center cap. For our application, with a full floating rear axle and extended hub flanges, however, we needed to substitute the deeper Raceline center caps. Part number CPR-B-5150 for a highly attractive fit and finish. The final step is to make certain that the tire and wheel assemblies clear the fender wells in all positions and steering angles. Cycle the suspension through the full range of suspension travel. Once this was completed, we corrected the speedometer for the new tire diameter. The tire diameter increase is 1.9 inches over the diameter of 325-65 R18 tires. A radius increase of 0.95 inches did not create a problem for the 4-inch chassis lift, which remains in place on this application. For more information on the Mopar Superlift 4-inch chassis lift, see the magazine or consult us at the forums.